What is going on, people? We are against the person that has Ubers. It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. I'm really excited because I've been recording a lot of videos for other games, but I have not been recording some Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles, and I am so sorry that I didn't upload on Wednesday for Fall Guys. I've been a little bit busy working on some other videos, and I couldn't really get correlated with my brother or my cousin or my friend for some Fall Guys action, so I'll probably be doing that this upcoming Wednesday if we don't do another video. Um, we're gonna do two Wi-Fi battles today because I do owe you guys, uh, maybe even three, because we got an Internatus here, and I really wanted, uh, this is gonna be a warm-up battle. Maddle? What is a maddle? Okay, so, what is a maddle with you, Daddy Mac? What is a maddle? Alright, so we got Misery here, bringing a really cool team, very scary team. You got an Urshifu, which is really scary already in OU. Tyranitar, a pseudo, a pseudo legendary, a Zero Aura, Internatus, and Mewtwo. So uh, I'm very scared of his team in case you haven't realized. So I'm going to start off the Dusclops because most of his Pokemon are physical attackers with the exception of Mewtwo. So we're going to go there and then um, try to do that. I mean, we're going to try to get a Will O Wisp going uh, towards most of his Pokemon. So let's see, and we got the Betty. Is that like Betty? Beady. Betty, Beady, Betty, Beady, Betty, Beady, Betty, Beady. It's really cold where I'm at, in case you guys haven't realized. I'm wearing a really cool jacket. This is probably my favorite jacket because it's black and yellow. Black and yellow. Um, Mewtwo's coming out. Mewtwo's coming out. That's not what I wanted. Quite frank, that's not what I wanted. Okay. That's the le that's the last thing I wanted to be honest with you guys. Um, I'm gonna call mind here. What, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna call mind, and uh, the reason being is because if this thing is a special, this guy is. I almost said synchro summoning. <laughs> this isn't Yu-Gi-Oh. This is Pokemon. He's Dynamaxing. He's Dynamaxing his Mewtwo, trying to get a sweep going. I think that's I think we're done for today. Th that's gonna be our Pokemon video. I'm just kidding. Obviously not. Max Darkness is coming out. We're able to tank that, my boys. And you know what? Is this a special D drop? It's a special D drop. That's not what I wanted. Okay. That's a problem. That's a really big problem because honestly, we're at a plus one right now. We can probably take another Max Darkness, if I'm being honest with you. Do I want to? Not really. But I'm going to burn a, a turn of Dynamax for this Mewtwo, and I'm just going to go for a rest here. I'm going to go for a rest. We're back to neutral, and we should be able to live an attack. So we're going to go back into... Oh, we're not going back into anything. We're going into the rest here, ladies and gentlemen, because um, we kind of need our Dusclops. And the thing is that he already burnt his Dynamax out. That's a problem for my opponent. That's a really big problem for my opponent. All right, so he he's going max darkness here. And because of that, I really want to go. I kind of want to go high dragon. I kind of want to do high dragon, but do I trust the Mewtwo? I do not trust the Mewtwo number one. What do I want to do? How worth is a rock win it for me? Kind of because he has the Tyranitar. It's pretty worth. How worth is a Perserker for me? Not very much, but it is because of the Zerora. You know what? We got a Focus Sash to burn out, so let's go ahead and just go into your, your girl, uh, Salazzle here. We got a Focus Sash to burn out, and we're probably gonna switch out next turn. I don't know yet. If he has a uh, Stealth Rock, then I'm in big trouble if I switch out. So, it doesn't even bring us down to our Focus Sash, ladies and gents, which is really good news to us. All right, you burn your Dynamax, so you're kind of out of luck, my friend. You're kind of out of luck, because I haven't used my Dynamax. My Max Pokemon is probably more effective than yours. Um, and I'm saying that in the face of a Mewtwo. All right, so I'm going to Sludge Wave here, given that it's the strongest stab attack that I got on my Salazzle. I outspeed. I thought so. This guy probably doesn't even train his Pokemon. Poison it. Poison it, because he deserves it. Nope. Stone Edge miss? Mud boys! Imagine if I had gone for a nasty plot there. It would have been a wrap. Sludge Wave again. If he goes Stone Edge, he misses again. Or just knock it out. I was hoping for a knockout. Okay. Hits the Stone Edge. Expected. And you know what we're gonna do here? 
Oh, hi, Kitty Cat. What you doing, Kitty Cat? You know what we're gonna do here? We're gonna just gonna go into um, Hi, Dragon. I was debating Berserker, but it's not time for Berserker action quite yet. And um, I kind of just want to hit him with a Earth Power in case he wants to go Eternatus later. It'll knock out regardless. You uh, wait a minute. How do you? How do you? Um, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? This guy is using Ubers. And he gets the hacks. I don't get any hacks right now. That is some ridiculousness right there. That is the most redundant thing I have seen in a while. Okay. We lost two Pokemon because it's unnecessary. So we're gonna go Desktops here. And my team is getting whittled down. Um, I should have gotten rid of this Mewtwo a long time ago already, to be honest with you guys. So we are sleeping, which is perfectly fine with me because we're gonna stall this boy out. If that's the game he wants to play, we're gonna stall him out. We are gonna stall out this Mewtwo. Okay, that does absolutely nothing. We're gonna PB stall this boy. We're just gonna stay in right now. Um, foul play is his max darkness attack, which makes sense as to why he didn't do a lot. Uh, I'm gonna Nightshade. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna Nightshade. Um, th that's the best move I got. It's not gonna... <laughs> It's not gonna do anything to me as far as the Mewtwo goes. If he goes into any other Pokemon than Urshifu, I'm just gonna I'm gonna Will O Wisp. So as long as he doesn't go into Urshifu, if it's the dark one, or so Urshifu and um, and Eternatus, because I believe his Eternatus is gonna be a special at attacker. If this guy knows about Pokemon, we wake up Nightshade. Your calm mind did not matter at all, my friend. So get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Man, I can't believe this guy got the got the ice beam freeze on me. I'm a little bit salty about that. I'm highly salty salty about that actually. I'm salted, my boys. Salted. Past tense. Past tense. Boys and girls. All right. So it is the single striker Shifu. Exactly what I was fearing, because this thing is gonna punch a big hole on my team now. I really needed high dragon and uh, a little bit of Slazzle to be honest. We're done. We are done. We are absolutely done, my boys. A rock when it is, uh, I, I really can't no more. I just can't. If I live in attack, it's gonna be a miracle. I'm telling you right now. I am not living a critical hit and a super effective critical hit at this. We're going, my boys, we, it's a crit. It's a crit and we live it. Will Lewis is coming out. This boy is absolutely not doing anything to us anymore. Dusclops, you, you know I love you. I didn't like you as a Pokemon, but after the past, let's say two Wi-Fi battles, including this one, after these Wi-Fi battles, I love you so much. I love you so much, Desclops. You got me out of so many sticky situations. If you live this, uh, okay, I didn't think you would live it, but it was worth the try, right? It was worth the try. It was worth the try. Okay, you're gonna take some burn damage, which is absolutely beautiful to us because now, we are going to go into your boy Perserker. We're gonna try to get a Hattering Sweep. That's that's the goal. That's what we're gonna try to do. My boy Perserker comes out, and we're honestly gonna play rough because it's times four. We're Choice Scarf. Hopefully, we outspeed. We outspeed, and I don't miss. Thank goodness. I was fearing. I was absolutely scared of missing. All right, if Eternatus comes out, we're gonna go Araquanid. No doubt about it. We're going into Araquanid. And we're just gonna uh, dragon. Ah, we don't got much for it with our Aquanid, do we? We don't got much for it. We're gonna sack off our Aquanid. I know I said we kind of needed him, and we kind of do, but you know, you gotta balance stuff sometimes, especially if you're trying to win. If especially if you're trying to win. Okay, here comes our Internatus. Here comes Internatus. I don't think I got the earthquake for this thing, is the thing. I don't, yeah, I don't got Earthquake. I don't think Preserica even learns Earthquake, to be honest with you. Um, hmm. Play rough. Probably the strongest th attack we have against this thing. No, we we got Iron Head, which is neutral, also neutral. I'm sorry, I rock with it. I know, I know, I said I wasn't gonna, I was gonna let you battle, but I kind of need to sack you off right now. 
I am so sorry, Araquanid. I hope you understand. Flamethrower. Oh, we're taking this. We're taking this, my boys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, obviously, we're not going to lend your leech life. We're going to crunch. We're going to try to bite this Eternatus. Bite it as hard as we can. Minus two. I'm perfectly fine with that. 100% fine with that. That does some damage. We should be able to live another one. Another one. All right. Get to crunch out. Defensive drop? No, of course I don't. Of course I don't. Pokemon doesn't like me. Pokemon does not like me. Giga Impact. Wow. That's kind of gutsy, isn't it? We don't live it, but um, he's probably doing that for memes. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Um, Hatterene is probably my next, my next move. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I should be able to be, I'm, I should be okay with the rest of his team. Given that this thing needs to recharge. So I'm going to go ahead and go for a Max Mind Storm. I already, he already died to Max. I'm going to Gigantamax right here. And we're going to try to call um, the janitor and just kind of sweep it up like this. All right. What you going to do when they come for you? Okay. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. If my team beats this team, I'm going to cry. Like a happy cry, though. Eternatus must recharge. Rightfully so. Max, my storm comes out. Knock it out. Yes! Okay. I was hoping that knockout, to be honest. I was really hoping it would knock out. I look a little bulky in this jacket, don't I? But it's all good. It's all good. All right. If Tyranitar wants to come out, it's going to take a um, snooze to the face. No, snooze is Grimstone. What's yours? Smite. Smite. Yeah, yours is Smite. So your G Max move doesn't put them to sleep. That's Grim Snarl. Yours uh, confuses them. And that's what we're going to do to this little Hippowdon right here. You know what? You know what? We're not going to do that to the Hippowdon. You know what we're going to do instead? We about to hit you with a Max Overgrowth. Change the terrain a little bit. I'm okay with... The oh, no. I needed the terrain. I needed the terrain. I needed the terrain. I needed the terrain. Okay, we got some residual recovery coming out at least, and this Hippowdon should not go down. Okay, so at least we kind of just um, offset the sandstorm a little bit. Kind of. Okay. It's going to come down to this, my boys. I already know that. It's going to come down to it. If this thing has protect, it's going to go down anyways. But I'm going to be a little bit upset if he, if he has the uh, protect. Okay. Don't go away because we have two Wi-Fi battles. Um, this is actually a pretty good battle considering that he has Ubers and I have nothing. No, I don't think I even have an OU Pokemon, do I? I don't think I have OU. Yep. Slack off, my boy. My boy. You really had to do it like that. You really had to do me like that. My storm comes out. Which, it's living at one. It's living at one, which is absolutely annoying. This thing is going to go for more slack offs. Um, I think it's time we switch the Hatterene after this. I am sorry, but... We kind of have to now. No way we're waking up. All right, you know what? You know what? Hear me out. We're going to stay in. We're going to stay in. Hatterene, it looks absolutely beautiful while it's asleep. We're going to expanding force right here. That's what we're going to do. If this thing wants to keep playing slack off, we're going to wake up and we're going to hit it with the max might. Or we don't even got max might storm anymore. We got expanding force we're gonna hit it with an expanding force okay so let's go ahead and just wake up hatterene whenever you're ready take your time you know just get your beauty sleep going that's perfectly fine i understand i need my sleep also but you better wake up very soon because this guy is using all ubers and we're guiding molly Watt by it okay bulldoze doesn't matter because i'm already slow um i do got the giga drain in case the tyranitar wants to come out next turn and I think we're going to hit the Giga Drain right here for re recovery. So that's what we're going to do. And he's just stalling out right now to get his recovery. That's a little bit frustrating. Um, You know what? We're just expanding forcing here. I don't care. You can bulldoze all you want. We're going to try to get a sweep. We have to try to get a sweep with Berserker now, unfortunately. 
I think that's the only choice we got. The right move here was Giga Drain, but you know, I'm I'm getting tired of this at Powdon. Okay, I was gonna get you a little bit salty if it lived. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Sad Storm subsides, thank goodness, but Tyranitar is going to come out next turn, if not the Zero Aura, and it's going to wreak havoc. So I'm not looking forward to it, to be honest. Um, I think the best move to lock myself into is going to be close combat? Question mark. Okay. Here comes the T-Tar. It's, it's going to outspeed us for sure. And can we please get an expanding force? I misclicked. It's done. It's done. I don't think I outspeed anyways, but still, we're going to get knocked out here. I can't believe I decided to. <laughs> For some reason in here, it was like, oh, you know what? You know what? Tyranitar is weak to psychic types, but it really isn't. It really isn't. So I don't know what I was thinking. It's not even affected by psychic types. I do not know what I was thinking. Okay. We're going to go Berserker here. And I think, I really, really think we're going to need to hit him with a close combat. Yeah, we're going to do close combat. We have no choice, ladies and gentlemen. We show that we're scarfed. Tyranitar goes down. So at least we're bringing it to the wire. Even though he used a, a stacked team of Ubers. Got a freeze on me, ladies and gentlemen. He got a freeze on me. And uh, I should scoot back a little bit, should I, shouldn't I? I think I should, but I'm going to stay like this for now. And that my cat was in the background. I just saw you, kitty. All right, Shiny Zerora, which is gonna, um, if it's running Earthquake, it's gonna beat us, or Blaze Kick, which it probably is, to be honest. We're going down. We are absolutely, oh, close combat. I forgot about this. Yeah. I think that freeze mattered. It mattered a lot, and I'm a little bit salty about it. I am so salty about it. Misery, you do not deserve that victory, but thank you for the Wi-Fi battle because I am a man of honor. I try to be a man of honor. I'm a little bit salty that I lost to you, but I'm a man of honor. I am not taking you. You know what? I'm taking your lead card. I'm taking your lead card. That was a good battle, regardless. On to the next one. Okay, so we found another opponent here. A is bringing a really cool team. I'm a. I should. I should respect the Italian. Italian. So that's what I'm going to do. I respect the Pangoro. I've never seen anybody use a Pangoro before. I haven't seen Corviknight in quite some time. Toxtricity is a cool Pokemon to see. Colossal. All of his, his entire team is awesome, to be honest with you guys. Um, I can't really see him starting Colossal. But I kind of can at the same time. So what I'm going to do is start a Uh, You know what? I got a better idea. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go High Dragon here in case he wants to go into the uh, Toxtricity. And we're just going to go from there. We're going to play it out because I got the Flamethrower for the Corviknight. I got the... Um, I don't think I have Surf on my... I, well, I don't got Surf and I don't want to hit... I don't want to trigger this thing Steam Engine. But um, I got the Earth Power for this uh, Colossal here. So I think we're okay. We're starting with High Dragon, right? We got to be okay. We have to be okay. All right, so... Your boy A is sending out the Vital Plume. Which is kind of cool to see, to be honest. If this thing wants to put me to sleep, then so be it. It's going to matter a little bit. But um, let's see. I'm going to hit you with the Flamethrower. I am Specs, my boy. You're not going to appreciate this Flamethrower. Okay. You should have probably switched to Colossal. Colossal. Okay. Vital Plume goes down. As expected. Da 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 da. Okay. I haven't listened to this theme in a while. I forgot that it's kind of, honestly, it, I don't like it that much. Inteleon comes out. Probably gonna try to threaten me with an Ice Beam. If you wanna go Focus Energy, so be it. I'm gonna go into Araquanid here. A Choice Banded Araquanid, who can take your Ice Beam and can take all of your Water type attacks if you are a special Focus Energy. Icicle Spear, interesting. So you're another physical Inteleon. We're taking it like a champ, my boys. No, nope, no, nope. get out of here, you know, just just get out of here Honestly, I am tempted to hitting this thing with the water type attack because um, I'm really free to go for a liquidation on most of his team Including the colossal. I don't think it would appreciate a choice banded liquidation here. So we're just gonna hit it. We're just gonna hit it All right Bring it on my boy. Bring it on my boy a You know this is probably going to sound very girly to me, um, and rightfully so. My girlfriend watched Pretty Little Liars, and she made me watch it too. 
And uh, um, there's this girl named A in that show, and uh, that Nick, that this guy's name reminds me of A. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right, Toxtricity comes out. I don't think Toxtricity is gonna appreciate a Choice Bandit um, with a Water Bubble uh, liquidation here. So we knocking it out. We knocking it out. What you doing, little kitty cat? What you gonna do, little kitty cat, when they come for you? All right. Another, okay, Italian is back out, which I 100% do not mind. Donut, like a donut, like a jelly bean donut, or like a jelly filled donut. All right. Breaking swipe, I do not mind that. He kind of break danced on me. And, um, what is this, attack? Oh, that's not, that's not good. Okay, that's okay. Thanks for revealing you got the breaks. Ooh, you know what? My boy, that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna liquidate again. I got nothing to lose going for another liquidation. Breaking swipe is gonna lower our attack even more, which doesn't matter because this uh, Italian is gonna go down. Whether you like it or not, your Italian's going down. So liquidation here. Knockout, as expected. Man, a rock one hit. You got some, you got the opportunity to shine right now, my friend. Um, if he goes into, well, that's minus two. I'm not gonna appreciate it go. Oh, he could Pangoro. I would have gone Colossal if I were you. I would have gone Colossal. If Pangoro comes out, I uh, obviously don't want to go Dustlops. He's not gonna appreciate the fairy type attack. Um, he does have the fighting type attack. I'm gonna go Hatterene here. Hatterene is the best bet we got against this Pangoro. So hopefully we can do something against it. I don't know. All right, Hattering comes out. My nose is getting a little bit itchy. You're gonna go crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay, that does a lot of damage, and you get the defensive drop. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about that. That defensive drop kind of mattered because now we got to switch out. We absolutely have to. And I'm gonna go into High Dragon and into High Dragon here. Oh, you're going Colossal. You're going Colossal. Kitty, are you trying to get my shoe? Stop trying to get my shoe, my boy. Colossal comes out. Okay. And then we're going to go into your boy, High Dragon. And we're basically free to go for a Draco. A Draco is going to hurt. It is going to hurt a lot. Uh, superpower, actually. There you go. There you go. We, I think it's a wrap. We, we won this battle. We won this battle. My boys, it is a wrap. I'm feeling a little bit better after going against a team full of ubers, but my team, of course, is kind of over overpowering this uh, my opponent's team. So I, I feel kind of bad, but I don't at the same time. So um, I'm sorry. That's all I can say. You know, I'm I'm really sorry. Corviknight comes out. He probably knows I'm Specs now, and that's probably why he went Corviknight, which is 100% okay with me because now I don't got anything with the Corviknight with you. I do got it with Hatterene. I'm gonna go Dusclops. I'm gonna go Dusclops here, and then I'm gonna burn it. I'm gonna burn this Corvid Knight in case I want to do some bulk up shenanigans. That is what I'm gonna do. That's my play. I play my face down card and end my turn. Okay, you turn. Okay. Your pro your only choice is Pangoro now, who's gonna get burned. So you got a lot of pivot in your team. I will give you that. You got um. I think I saw pivot, obviously with the Corbin Knight and the Intellion. I think you have one more that pivots. I can be 100% wrong about that. We're not going to appreciate an attack from Pangoro, obviously. So we're just going to try to will wisp and call it a day. This is probably a banded Pangoro too. Oh, we do appreciate an attack from this thing. And we will wisp to make matters worse for my opponent. Which is nice. Okay. Because now we can go into Adarine. Go for a free... Um, Fairy type attack. I forgot what fairy. A uh, dazzling gleam is the, what I'm running here. So we're gonna go Hatterene. We're gonna go dazzling gleam. Let Hatterene go down to the Corbin Knight. And it's a wrap. It is a wrap. You wrap it. You tie it. We put a little bow on it. And it's a wrap. Okay. Here comes the Hatterene. Kitty, stop trying to play with my shoe, please. Can you stop it, my guy? Like seriously. Oh, Dynamax. That's your best bet. That is your best bet at this point. I would have Dynamaxed the Corbin Knight though. I would have 100% Dynamaxed the Corbin Knight because now, I don't know if I'm gonna Dynamax. I do not know if I'm gonna Dynamax. Um, I kind of want to, but I'm not gonna do it. 
All right, what you gonna do? Darkness? That's fine, my boy. That's fine. Oh, that still does a lot. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do then? I'm gonna Dynamax myself because I think I'll be able to take an attack from you. I hope. So we're gonna Dynamax. Go for a Max Smite. And then try to get a try to get the W. I'm gonna put my remote down, my controller, and we're just gonna let this play out, okay? All right, nice talk. So we're gonna Dynamax. Man, I got a headache today. I, I had a really bad migraine. I woke up with a migraine, and um, I went to work with a migraine, with, and I thought it was gonna be okay because it started to calm down a little bit, and then I came home with a migraine. So uh. It's been a day. It's been a good day, though. It's been a really good day. Max strike. This is probably gonna knock me out. It does not knock me out because it's not stab, my boy. You should have done that. I know my speed falls, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna smite here. And you're going down. Your Pangoro has to go down here. There you go. All right, next comes the Corbin Knight, which is gonna knock me down. And, um... We're just gonna bring in the uh, Salazzle against it and call it a battle. I think that's what we're gonna do. Here comes the Corbin Knight. We, could, we do have the Max Flare. Not that it matters, but we got the Max Flare. Um, and we're gonna try to hit it off even though it's not gonna matter. So, you turn. We're gonna, if we live this. My boys! My girl Adderine over here. Just live the attack at 1 HP. And it's a wrap! A, that was a really good battle. Thank you so much. That was amazing. I 6 0 him. I didn't even mean to do it. I mean, I was going to let Hatterin go down, but that was a beautiful battle. So, that's going to be it. I'm going to take your lead card. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like like this video. It helps up the channel, number one. And number two, um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the Wi-Fi battle, make sure you guys do leave a like because that first battle was awesome. The second battle kind of made up for that first battle, I feel like. And also, uh, comment down below MVP, most valuable Pokemon. Who is your vote for MVP? I got to feel first battle, it was probably Dusclops. Second battle, probably... Uh, the uh, Hatterene. So overall, who was your vote for MVP? And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Mac. I will see you guys next time.